by any logical standard. Last spring, 28-year-old Eugene Yoon made the craziest decision of his life. I remember kind of just like looking up at the sky and being like, God, are you sure about this? Because I'm pretty happy right now. Did it feel like that, like a calling? It felt like a calling, but I tried to reject it for about two months because it was just too outlandish. What Eugene felt called to do was one really big random act of kindness. He didn't know who he was supposed to help or how. All he knew was that he had to help someone and it had to be life altering. And that's when a video came across his Facebook page. It was a video of a guy he never met named Arthur Renowitzki, a paraplegic in a t-shirt with bold letters of bold defiance. After being mugged, shot, and paralyzed eight years ago, Arthur vowed that he would walk again someday. And when Eugene heard about that, he called Arthur immediately. He wasn't gonna give up until I was walking again. To walk again. To walk again. And you don't have a medical degree. I have a film degree. <laughs> Which makes you wonder then, how were you gonna make him walk again? <laughs> this is the part I, I had no idea at the time. Eventually though, he learned about this exoskeleton device that can help some people walk again. Unfortunately, it costs about $80,000. So to pay for it, Eugene quit his job at a research company in Northern California to hike Here we go. from the California-Mexico border to Canada. Here we go. Along the way, he posted videos of the adventure and asked people to donate on social media. Until round about mid-Washington state. We did it! When Eugene learned we did it! that he had reached his fundraising goal. You're gonna walk! And yes! again, all this Woo! to help a total stranger. Yes! To quit his job, to go into debt from doing this, to help me get back on my feet. You don't meet people like that every day. Eugene Yoon felt called to make a difference in someone's life. But when he heeded that call, he had no idea what a difference he'd make. Until proof rounded the corner. This is the first time Eugene got to see Arthur walk. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, brother. I call him my brother now. We are brothers. I'm just very thankful to have a friend like him. I wouldn't be here, man, if it wasn't for you. Makes you wonder, that little voice Eugene heard, was that ever about helping someone with a hardship? Or was it about helping two someones with a friendship?